Alright guys. I'm gonna find out the centre of the circle and I'm gonna find out the length of the radius, okay? It's good information now. Will you dim the lights there lads, alright? So we're gonna get is uh plus two GX plus two FY plus C. Okay? So what I can determine from this is that two G equals minus four and two F equals two, F equals one and G equals minus two. The center of the circle is minus G minus F, which is uh, 2 minus 1. Is that okay, you guys? 2 minus 1. Radius is G squared plus F squared take away C. Radius equals <coughs> 2 squared plus minus 1 squared. Uh, minus, uh, the C value is minus 4. That would mean it's plus 4. Radius is what's at a uh, nine root nine, which is three. Is everybody kill that tree? All right. Uh, find the distance B to T. Well, I can find the distance from B to A, can't I? Anybody know how to find distance from B to A? The distance formula. Uh, x2, y2, uh, call 2 minus 1, x1, y1, that, that's nice and handy actually. Alright, so square root of uh, x2 minus x1 minus y2 minus y1 squared, right? Part one seconds. All right. Anyways, I'll just scroll down. It's so the two points five eight and minus two. So five eight. So uh, five. Take away two squared. What's a plus uh, eight minus minus one, which is eight plus one squared. Square root of ninety, otherwise known as three root ten. Will three root ten be all right for you guys? Uh, can anybody tell me where's the right angle located in this triangle? Where's the right angle actually located? So I, uh, somebody got the position of the hypotenuse mixed up. Who was that? Where you, you chose the wrong angle to be 90 degrees. All right, so uh, that was Adam there, and Adam, Adam's quite good at this stuff usually. And what we're saying is that uh, this here, that's your right angle at the tangent point. So that would make 3 root 10 your hypotenuse, wouldn't it? And what's the goal of the question? To find the length of b to t, is that alright? So I'm just going to rub out this part up here. This part here and here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, 3 root 10 squared. 3 root 10 squared equals uh, x squared plus 3 squared. 90 <coughs> equals x squared plus 9, x squared equals 81, uh, bt equals 9. We kill that. Right. Any questions? Cool. All right. Two circles, C1 and C2, have their centers on the x axis. Each circle has a radius of 5 units. Point 0.14 lies on each circle. Find the equation of C1 and C2. Alrighty. The key thing is the centers on the x-axis. What's usually the center when we use the GF formulas? Anybody, what's usually the center? Minus G minus F, isn't it? What do we know about the F part? If it lies on the x-axis, what do we know about the F part? We know that F is zero. So we know that f equals zero. Is that okay with you guys? And what else do we know? For argument's sake, the point one four is it? So the point one four is on each circle. Okay. So a rough diagram would be one four would be located here. The center of the circle 
So this, uh, this, this isn't actually discernible, but for argument's sake, that's what it could look like. Except there has to be a radius of. What's the radius have to be? Five. And for argument's sake, the other circle could be over here, but they have to be the same size. So for argument's sake, the other circle looks like that. Oh, sorry. See what I'm saying? Two circles to have a center on the x-axis, but hit the point one far, all right? Does that make sense? So that's the picture we're looking at, all right? Now, what we can determine from this is the following. Let's use our formulas here, all right? So we have x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0. All right, first of all, what can we say about the 2fy part? Huh? Yeah, it's gone. It's 0, so just get rid of it. Okay, happy enough with that? What two numbers can I sub in for x and y? What two numbers can I sub in? I can sub in 1 and 4, any point that's on the actual circle. So we get 1 squared plus 4 squared equals uh, 2g times 1 plus c equals 0. And what can we say then? 2g plus c equals... Are you happy that equals minus 7 then? What other piece of information have we not used yet? Radius of 5. How do you use that, lads? What's the radius formula? G squared plus? But what's the deal with the F squared? Cancel it. It doesn't exist. Because F is 0. What's the radius? Square both sides. Now, I think a bit of substitution would work nicely here, wouldn't it? If I get C on its own, does everybody see me getting C on its own? What can I do with this equation then? How many answers am I expecting? One or two? Just a question, say that you're expecting two answers. The question says you're expecting two circles. Two circles equals two G values and two C values, okay? Alright, this backs up what we're looking for. G squared plus two G. What's that? Plus seven in, isn't it? Minus twenty-five. Yeah, we're in business now. G plus four and G minus 2 equals 0. And what do we get then? G equals 2 and G equals minus 4. Is that okay with you guys? Alright. Now, <coughs> what about the C value? Minus 7 and minus. 2 times minus 4 and c equals minus 7 in minus 2 times 2. So what are the two c values? Is that minus 9, is it? And the other c value? Minus 21. Alright. Now we've got to sub it in here. What did we say earlier? The f value is 0, so we don't have to worry about 2fy. So what are our two answers then? Uh, what's that? Minus 8x, is it? And then after that? Minus 9 equals 0. So it means went around a really difficult way doing it, but you pulled it off anyway, so fair play to you. Yeah, I'll go there.